Hola, buenas noches guys. John here, con mi amigo. Hello, this is Tim, back uh, again. Back again. Your spot. And he did come back again. It feels like he's been here every week. Like, he tells me that, hey, I'm coming into town. Can you come meet up? And I feel bad because I got to send my girlfriend home and then, you know, come meet up with him so we can uh, go explore and see his progress and he's progressed quite a bit so for those of you don't, that don't know he hit me up on he emailed me because he saw a video of mine and he was heartbroken when he first came down here and now he was heartbroken from one of the girls at the clubs down here but now I think he's started as a young Jedi young Luke Skywalker naive on the farm not knowing nothing and now he's turning into a Jedi Master. So, tell me about the girl that broke your heart. What are you thinking now? Are, are you even affected by it? Are, like you were scared to go see her? Tell the people like... No, uh, in fact, I've been trying to see her. I, I went over to see her a couple times and she's not working, but no, I'm good. I just see, uh, I've grown a lot. And I, for whatever reason it happened, and I realized there's no future in it. I, you know, I wish her the best. She's a good person, but she hasn't been working here this last week. So maybe, uh, maybe she went over fresh enough. I don't know. And, uh, I got an interesting story. I was, I fly into San Diego, uh -huh. and then uh, I take the bus to the trolley, the trolley to the border, and I came with a buddy this time, and. Uh, he uh, well, I was telling him that Michael will fall in love. And the guy said next to me, he's about a 35-year-old young man, good-looking guy. Uh -huh. And he said that, uh, he said, I've seen you in uh, John's uh, videos. Uh -huh. And I started laughing. He says, what gave you away? He says, well, when you fell in love. But just, uh -huh. He says, this is the reason. He's, he lives in Florida. He's been to Medellin, but all around the world. Brazil, yeah. He Brazil, was yeah. He's even been to Costa Rica. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And he's yeah, he came out to he came out to Costa Rica two weeks ago. Uh -huh. But he travels a lot. He never been to Tijuana. But the reason he came to Tijuana because he saw one of these videos yep. with a Hong Kong in the background. Yep. And so uh, we ran into him tonight. And he's having the time of a life. He's going to bring his buddies back. So if you guys are scared of Tijuana, come on down. There's it's abundance down here. And uh, so I thought that was really a crazy coincidence. But no. Uh, I'm, I'm healed up. I understand the, the game of uh, what it is. I kind of got in the wrong track. John helped me a lot. Time helped me a lot. Yep. But uh, it's been uh, it's been good. Here I am again. I'm going to go to Asia. I'm flying out of here today, going to LAX Sunday, and then uh, flying to Manila, Philippines Ooh. this week. So oh. I set this thing up uh, about a month ago when I was really hard, or two months ago when I was heartbroken about the Chicago girl. But, uh, it, it's nice to see a new country, and when you go to Asia, that'll be outside of my comfort zone. Yep. So it's nice to get out of your comfort zone once in a while. I think you grow more if you do that. Yeah. And even if you fall in love with the girls over there, ain't nothing you can do because they're too damn far. From you. <laughs> but you can still fall in love. You can fall in love, but you yeah. won't forget about them because time will pass. Yeah. And you'll be able to see you. Know, yeah. uh, so. I told John I'm going to find me an Asian woman that respects me for who I am, and he started good luck with that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> They'll respect you more than what an American or Canadian or a yeah, Canadian yeah. will respect you. They, they still know how to treat their guys and like take care of you and yeah. stuff like that. And so tonight when he came down and that guy saw him, I couldn't believe. I, I was just blown away how the guy actually, what a coincidence, on a fucking trolley, he sees this guy and asks him, is that him? And I said, how the hell did you know that it was this guy? 
He's all, I just heard him, and when I heard him talking, I just knew it was him without even looking at him. <laughs> like, I said, but I changed the voice and I changed his face. He's all, but just the way he was talking and falling in love and all this stuff, he knew it was him, so he had to ask. And he, he just, he went up to him and talked to him and said, hey, are you Tim? From John's videos, and he said, "Yeah." Yeah, I yeah. thought that was. So, what are the chances? Though? What are the odds on that? No, what? Yeah, seriously, what are the odds? And this guy, he said, he was telling me because he went up with one of the girls, and I was sitting down there with the the guy who came down, and I, I asked him, I said, "What was the first video you saw?" And it was, he said, it was the one with this in the background, and uh, he said with the guy that I was interviewing, and so then he ran into him. And he said that he even sent me an email. He said, hey, I'm gonna be coming into town. And oh, he did, I didn't know that. Yeah, he said, but you didn't respond to me. And I, I said, type in your email. He, I gave him my phone and he typed in his email and nothing came up. Oh, and, really? Yeah. And he was showing me the email that he typed up. And I said, man, I didn't receive it because I usually try to respond to everybody that, I do my best to respond to everybody that emails or sends a message or whatever. And I said, let me see the email again that you were sending it to. He forgot to put an S at the end. <laughs> so that's why it never fucking delivered. Yeah. And he's all, oh shit. He's all, I know you're busy and like, oh, I didn't want to keep bothering you and stuff like that because I didn't respond. And so it ended up working even better in his favor yeah. because he met him yeah. and then he introduced him to me. Yeah. And then we ended up hanging out and I showed him around the club and I showed him all the other clubs down here. We went to all the other clubs while we were waiting for him because he went on his honeymoon <laughs> and took a long ass time <laughs> up in the honeymoon suite. <laughs> and so I showed him the other spots and I was asking him because he's been to Brazil. He's been everywhere. Like this guy's traveled a lot of places. I wanted to interview him like while he was up there. I said, hey, let's go to interview. I, let's go do an interview because I think a lot of people would like to hear your story. And you got a lot of knowledge that you can share about all the places yeah. he's been to. But he was being, he was kind of shy. And I said, I'm gonna blank out your face. I'll change your voice. But he was still shy. He was like really shy. shy yeah, to do it, yeah. you know? I think he's got a pretty good job. You probably won't put that in jeopardy. Yeah, I can't say what he does, but he told me what he does. He's from Florida and he manages a big retail chain store. Oh, yeah. And they pay him really well. And he's got no kids. He's never been married. So he just travels and like does all the things that he sees people doing online. And then he goes and does it. And he's been to a lot of places where a lot of guys want to go, and that's why I wanted to like interview him and like get his thoughts on it, because he also went to the place that where all of us have been connected, because it like the first place that I can't name the name, yeah, but yeah, everyone yeah, knows yeah. that it's an amazing place. Yeah. yeah. So, but you, you gotta admire a guy. He's probably in his thirties, maybe. No, he's twenty-five. He's young. He's twenty-five. Oh, wow. yeah. Well, I know that. Yeah. 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 Somebody that that much. But he's got, he works hard and got a good yep. job, and he, and he uh, like I said, no children, so he enjoys himself. So yeah, I, you know, I like to see a young man do that. Yeah, not only that, he was like fucking ripped. He's like yeah. you. He's very muscular, yeah, and he was like he took care sure. of his fitness. You know, like. He's a, he's a black guy, so I'm gonna call him Tyrone. He's a, he's a Tyrone, he's a real Tyrone. He's traveling around. Good guy. Yeah. He's making the money, and like, he's he's ripped, and seems like he's good looking. I don't know, like, but to me, you know, like, you know, so he's doing at a young age what a lot of people wish they could do that they start late in life or they discover late in life. He's already doing it young. Like, shit, he's doing the shit that me and you started you know he started younger than us oh, doing yeah. this shit yeah. Like, yeah. and he said i said so like what made you come down here he said i saw your video and i figured i haven't been down there and he came down here and he was supposed to come with some friends and they all chickened out last minute and he said well he said john in his video said come by yourself so i went by myself he yeah. actually followed directions and came down here by himself and he said i'm so glad i did and now I told him about it, and they're all. He's gonna bring them all the next time. He's gonna yeah. bring them all on a trip. To he was a guy. He was a tail, trailblazer. Next time he's gonna bring the crew down. Exactly. So now that he's discovered what it is down here and seen for himself, like what I des described in the video. Yeah. And now he's gonna show all his best friends like what's down here. And guys, this is really me and the guy were talking, and I was telling him. I said, you know what? The problem is. Everyone discounts this place and like,
they feel like it's not that great because it's so close to America, but they did it right over here, man. Yeah, like, they're doing it right. Don't don't think that just because it's so close to America that it's not good. They did an amazing job. The, the party atmosphere, the DJs, the drinks, it's just, it gets you in such a good mood and like hundreds of hot girls, like hundreds. In each club here, there's like hundreds of there girls. Is. Yeah. You it's, know? It's a, a world of abundance down here, guys, a lot of fun. Yeah, and so it's all in one place. And I told him, I said, people take this place for granted just because it's so close, but no, don't take it for granted. Make it a, a point to stop here, and even if nobody wants to come with you, come down here by yourself. He comes down here every time by himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. But it's fun. It is fun. Yeah. It's, it's an amazing spot, and like I can't stress it enough. Like I said, I've been around the world. He's been around the world. He comes here like every fucking week. It's like he lives here. I live here. I don't even come here, but this is what made me move down here because it's so amazing, and it's because... I've never seen anything like this anywhere in the world. Have you seen anything like this? No, 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 no. There's, there's nothing like this. No, like, right. People don't understand. And it's, it's right in our back door. It is. It's yeah. like right in the backyard and like San Diego. Just fly to San Diego and cross the border. And who knows? You might run into him <laughs> at the airport or on the trolley or wherever yeah. coming down here. And like, I don't even know how he recognized you. You know, no, like, no. What are the chances? It was meant to happen though. Yeah. He tried to get a hold of you and you all worked out, but he still came down. He had, he's having a heck of a time down there. He's still partying. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to bed now. Yeah, so. me too. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, like, both should. of us are done. Yeah. So let's let's talk about like uh the girls and their their number one thing they like to say. What's the number one thing they oh, like to say? Here? Well, yeah, I was I was waiting for John because uh -huh. he was busy at home. Uh -huh. And I was getting ready to leave Hong Kong to, to go to Chicago so my medical situation. But um, a girl smiled at me, so I went down there and uh, she did look innocent, she uh -huh. did look fresh. Uh -huh. So I said, uh, how uh, how long have you been working here? Uh -huh. she, said, she says, This is my third day. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I, uh, yep. I said, John, text. She's yeah, me. I found another third day girl, yeah. and he showed up. Uh, so, like, when I came down, I asked the girl, I said, hey, tell me the truth. I said, is there someone upstairs training you guys to say that it's your third day anytime anyone asks you how long you've been working here? So, no, nobody trains us to do that. I really, it really is. She's all, you want to bet it's my third day? And I said, no, I don't want to bet, but it's just funny because me and him started laughing yeah, when right. I got here and she, she's all, yeah, it's just it's her third day. And she's all, no, let me prove it to you. And she pulled out her boarding pass from the airplane that she took from the town she's at. And it said she has been here for three days. And I told her, yeah, this is your three days on your fucking <laughs> third or fourth trip. Yeah. yeah, you've been coming here for years, but yeah. you've just been here three days. And yeah. like, no, no, this is my first time. Yeah. And like, usually, like, what I'm saying is right, and they're just bullshitting you. And they've been here multiple times yeah. before, and this is just her third day here on this visit, right? No, that's true. But I, I, I they sure gave the impression they've been new. Yeah, they do, yeah. but later on, you're going to catch the things they yes, say that exactly. makes them slip up that yeah. they've been here, they know the game, they know the routine. Yeah. And it's like, she introduced, like, so we went down and uh, introduced me to her friend, which was hot. Like, her friend was 19 and her friend was uh, 22. Oh, or, yeah. but, but she told me she was 22, but how old did she tell you she was? She told me she was 20. <laughs> See, there's like mixed up stories. They just mix up their stories. Yeah. It's like all yeah. over the place, you know? So, like, you can't really trust them. But you can enjoy the fantasy because that's what they're here to do is sell you the it fantasy, is. you know. So. I said John a text last week and I says, uh, this time I'm going to be prepared. They're going to uh -huh. tell us lies and they're going to go along with it. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and act like anyone by ourselves. Yes. I mean, it's all hate fantasy anyway. Yeah. And I, I said, yeah, that's all we can do. Like, whatever lie or whatever thing they tell us, yeah. all we do is just play along yeah. and yeah. believe them and entertain them and just like, like yeah. kind of like make believe. That it's true, so we can enjoy. Oh, he got a 20 year old today, I got my 19 year old. <laughs> Who knows if that's even their real age? It's not like we check their ID, no, you know, but no. they look like they're that age. They look young. <laughs> they look young. And they were fresh, and she yeah. pulled out her boarding pass, and 
you know, our well, friends. They both had good attitudes. So yeah, their, their attitudes were amazing. They stayed with us for a long time and hung out. And he went up to the room for over an hour. It was like, because I was waiting and I walked to all the other clubs. It was over an hour that she yeah. actually spent time. Yeah, yeah. We, had, we spent you know, a long time together. Yeah. Yeah. Sam and the one, so that's pretty good. Yeah. So uh, what ended up happening, you just told me right now, someone knocked on your door like because you took so long. So tell, tell, tell us about what happened. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I rented a room here at, uh, at the drop of the bar. Uh -huh. and then, uh, so it had unlimited time. It's not like it had a 30 pound limit. So we were in there doing whatever, you know. And it was probably 45 minutes or an hour. And uh, we got knocked at the door. And I thought, well, why are they knocking on the door? Because uh, this is my room all night long. Yeah. And a guy from Hong Kong came and uh, knocked. He said that uh, she has to go back to work. And she was. She was not really offended, but she says, you know, Hong Kong's manipulating you men. I said, well, not really, because they have a business to run, yeah. and they cannot let the, the girls spend hours yep. away from, you know, especially the hot girls. They need the hot girls yeah. in there uh, serving, you know, selling alcohol. So, uh -huh. But my point, and John and my point is, Hong Kong's a well-run business. Yep. They have rules. And that's why men are successful because yeah. uh, they do adhere to the rules and they're not going to have all the girls ding dong and around all night long partying. So, they used to, but then they got new management and now they got really strict. It's a tight ship. Yeah. They, they tightened up really a lot and they really keep track of how long the girls are being up there. Right? Yeah. They got to sell the beers or go back to work. Yeah. If you don't buy a bucket of beer to keep them in your room, they got to go back to work. Yeah. Just, you know. Hong Kong is run by money, and I respect that. And they're, they're gonna, they do a good job. And so uh, I, mean, I kind of surprised me for a while, but then I realized well, they're just part of the business. Yep, they did a good job, and like it's Christmas. Look, you can see the Christmas lights behind us, and he's about to go to his uh, tropical destination on the other side of the world. And I told him, I said, hey, when you go, he's staying at a place where my friend owns the. Uh, the hotel where you're staying in, hotel. yeah in yeah. Andalus City and I said we could do a video video interview no, on, on Zoom or whatever. If I figure out how to run Zoom I'll be glad we or do it. Or download it on your phone because you can do it on your phone. Okay you really yeah, okay, so that'll be easier than the computer. Yeah, yeah, I mean you can walk around and show us the girls that I'll have the spot yeah, and like we could possibly even have them walk down the street in Angeles City so you guys can see because it's like this but like maybe four times bigger than this with a ton of bars and like hundreds of girls in the in each bar too and each of them has a little number right here on their bikini that you just because there's so many and they're standing it's like levels there's like three or four stories of girls all standing on the rails and there's like how can you call the girl because they all like look similar, yeah. they all have a number on them, so you call them by their number, and that's how they call them. Yeah, you yeah. call them. And you, you say, "Hey, I want number 97," and they'll call her, bring her down. And yeah. if you want to bring her to your hotel, they you pay the, yeah. the bar, and then you pay the girl when you get there. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to hear his uh, experiences down there in Angeles City because it's kind of like Thailand. It's kind of like here. It's a mix of both. You know, and it's in a tropical destination, so he's gonna have a great time. And he's a white guy, so he's gonna love the Asian girls. Over there. <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah. I, they're my favorite, really. That's why he's going. Yeah. I told him not to go, but he didn't listen. He's still gonna go. <laughs> and I was thinking I was gonna go too. I looked at the tickets. Oh my god, the tickets were so expensive to go. I'm like, no, I think I'll stay. Yeah. You know. But like, uh, after after the Philippines, you're going to one more place. Yeah, well, actually, I'm going to the Philippines, I'm going to Central America, and then I'm going back to uh, Thailand and uh, the Philippines. Again? Yeah. The Philippines again? In February, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, maybe in February I might have to go to that one. Yeah, come on out. Yeah. Uh, in the Central America one, I think I'm going to go to that one. Yeah, that'd be good. We got another viewer around his age that uh, has been supporting and uh, sending donations and being really appreciative of the stuff that I've shared. So I was gonna introduce them and like do it in person. Yeah, we're about the same age, I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Like, he hasn't said anything about how his health is, how his yeah. physique is, or yeah. how he really is. But yeah. 
you know, we'll see, but he's lived that long, so he's got to be doing something right. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. And he's asking your advice on some stuff, too, so he wants to get better. Yeah, and he is asking, and he is taking action on the things I teach, too. Yeah, so that's good, yeah. He is. He's there right now. Yeah, yeah. there right now. Like the dream. Yeah, and I asked him, I said, I said, hey, how you doing over there? I guess he's so busy, he didn't even answer. <laughs> That's, good, that's a good sign. Yeah. As long as he's okay, that's a good sign. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I think that's all we wanted to share today. We just wanted to give a little status update on like his progress because a lot of people love his story, his uh, inspiration, and to show that when we get to his age, it's possible to still be living the good life. No, I agree. Enjoy. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Take care of your finances, and we can reach 72 years old still doing the same thing that gives me hope you know like that that makes me feel like okay good i can work hard and i still got more than 20 years there and, uh, the, i can enjoy this lifestyle and uh, yeah live the dream yeah but take care of yourself guys physically and mentally and financially yep so that's it for now guys i hope you guys have a good one and happy holidays and a happy new year we got the the uh christmas decorations over here so you can see there you go, there's the Christmas decorations. Hey John, some viewers might want to know, is this, is this slow up here doing Christmas? Oh Christmas? yeah, it's good you brought that up. A lot of people have been actually been writing me that and like, don't let it stop you from coming here. People keep saying, oh, all the girls go home. Yeah, all the regular hoes drop <laughs> here all year round, but then they got a fresh set of them that come yeah. in that don't. Like I met a lot of girls that don't have family or whatever and they come in and they, they spend a year. So yeah. you're gonna run into that when you come here during the holidays. It's not gonna be like the regular girls that are here all year round. Yeah. There'll be a fresh set of girls or girls that don't really have family. So you'll have a great time here still during the holidays. Yeah, you still enjoy yourself. So. Yeah, a lot of people been asking, hey, I wanna go during Christmas and I wanna go during New Year, but everyone keeps telling me all the girls go home. Nah, you think this place is gonna uh, shut down or not have any enough girls for you guys. No, no, they they, they got a solution for that, you know yeah. So they got a bunch of fresh girls that come through that don't have family and don't have all the celebrations And you'll have a great time. I had a lot of great experiences over the years over here in the holidays Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like anything else, a lot of time to make your own fun too. The right attitude, you'll have a good time Yeah, but it's not empty. There's yeah, still a exactly. shitload of girls here yeah. and it's not the regular girls All the girls, yes, all, a lot of girls go home to their hometowns yeah, but there's still a lot of girls here like there's still hundreds of girls and they capitalize on it and make a lot of money because a lot of people get their Christmas money and they're bored at home yeah, they come down here after everyone opens gifts <laughs> <laughs> they give themselves a gift yeah <laughs> uh, all right guys I thought it would be nice to do the uh, status update on how he's doing and we'll find maybe the next time you see us it'll be him in the Philippines walking down Angeles City or by the pool in the ABC Hotel in Angeles City. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. Adios, pura vida. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, bye-bye. Well, like, guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If you're heading down to Costa Rica, i got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of the stuff, you know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees, you don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money. You could be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank, a thousand, two thousand to the bank every month. You take it and go on a vacation. Look at the ocean, how beautiful it is down here. And the weather is perfect. It's so early in the morning. I'm already sweating. It's tropical. And like people are swimming down there, if you could see. And I, the only thing I wish that was down here is the that there was more waves. But like I said, if you own a business, uh, you don't have to pay for the fees. You can use it for vacation, take your family out, reinvest in your business, or whatever it is you want to do on with it. It's just it's way better than wasting it, paying it to the bank, and getting nothing in return. So that's it. Uh, send me an email or write in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Adios. Pura vida.